One of the great narratives there. But now it's time to squint as we focus a little bit closer at a single note. Focus on a note <laughs> Which will get your vote Will it be the E for A flat, C sharp, F sharp, B, E, A, D, G, C, F, B flat, E Focus on a note <laughs> And today you're very lucky because we're going to be looking at E. Do you want to play us an E, Ed? Doink. It is an amazing note. Of course, we all know that the composer Anton Bruckner says it's associated with the music of contemplation. Do another one. It is contemplative, isn't it? What do you think about it? It's a mighty note, and it's unsurprising, I think, that the E has spawned many imitators. D, for example, sounds a lot <laughs> like E. Play a D. Now an E. Yeah, no coincidence. It was invented a week after E. So <laughs> suspicious. And I think it's very much the oxygen of the musical note world. By itself, it's strong, powerful. Big Ben, for example, used it to strike the hour. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. That's it. Three o'clock, four o'clock. You can see why he's chosen, isn't it? But if you, if you combine it with another note, like oxygen, it, it can become more sinister. If, you, if, for example, you chuck in an F, Ben. Do you want to do an F on there? Uh-oh, what's happening now? Big Ben's turned nasty. And then... Then if you just add a couple of G's and A's and B's, go on, you do that, Joe. Oh, a bit more light-hearted from Big Ben, a bit more light-hearted. Then Mark, chucking a D and a C-sharp or two, what's Big Ben doing? Oh, he's washing the car. Big Ben's doing the handiwork. And then just chucking a couple more octave E's, Ben. Can you do that at the bottom? He's doing it. A bit more urgency from Big Ben now. 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock. The whole band on one piano. Okay.